general idea in this group? Min interesse for barnevern startet med at det var representant i et kommunalt utvalg som skulle kvalitetssikre barnevernssaker. Dette utvalget skulle kvalitetssikre barnevernssaker. Det bare var dersom det var alvorlig omsorgssvikt at man tog barn fra familiene. Nå viste det seg at nesten ingen av de sakene som vi behandler og hvor kommunen ønsket å fjerne barna, så å si ingen saker, var det påstått omsorgsvikt i det hele tatt. Det dreide seg om foreldre som et eller annet tidspunkt i livet hadde litt psykososiale problem, av den typen som de aller fleste av oss har opplevd av og til. Sånn at denne påstanden, om at det bare med alvorlig omsorgsvikt, den var feil. Og det er alvorlig, fordi det da medfører at barn og familier blir ødelagt på et veldig svagt og helt sviktende grunnlag. Well, I live now in Prague, in the Czech Republic. And I've seen how the Norwegian uh, Barnaverna is destroying the Norwegian reputation totally. I followed the case against a uh, woman from uh, Czechia. Uh, they took her uh, children with a really bad uh, reason. And nobody in Czechia understand this. And then I followed this case with against the Norwegian Romanian family in Neustadt. Yeah. And uh, this is... Uh, a really evil case. Barnevern had took this, those children who no good reason and they are they are destroying the children, they are destroying the family and our demonstration, there has been demonstration before also against Norwegian Barnevern. 70,000 people was in the streets in different countries in January and February this year. Um, and I think if, if, if a journalist or a politician from another country ask Barnavana in Norway about the system, they will say, this is a good system, we're helping the children, we do take the children only when it's absolutely 100% necessary, which is a lie. Because they do this for very different other reasons. They just say, you are not a good enough parents. And that could be just because there are not good enough eye connection between the child and the mother. It's, you cannot even believe it. When I'm telling this to people in another country, they have a problem to believe it. So, Barnavana today is destroying the reputation of Norway. Barnavana is destroying families. It makes tragedies. It's destroying children. And this has to be changed. And I'm happy there are so many demonstrations now also in Norway. So maybe at the end something can be done. What's your answer? Oh. The first time I saw cases relating to Barnevernia must have been around 1993 or 4 something time around then. Uh, they were horrible. Uh, they opened my eyes, but it was very difficult to know what to do. Um, I got to meet Orge here uh, over one particular case, uh, and we uh, have collaborated over reading and writing. Uh, articles and things like that. Um, we have both been in court as so-called expert witnesses. Uh, that's a very good experience too. It teaches you a lot about what's going on. So uh, for these more than 20 years we have seen developments which have not been in the right direction on the contrary, and uh, 
the only really good advances have been, I think, two. First of all, the coming of the internet, which lets people write spontaneously without having to go to the mainstream media. And the other is this thing that's coming up now, international demonstrations that may help Norway to wake up. Mm. And in this situation, we can't sit entirely still. We have to try to do something ourselves also, since we're getting all this support from other countries. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What is it, Dean? Um. Problemet i dag er at barnevern, når det dreier seg om barnevern, er at dette er en systemfeil som er så alvorlig at det er vanskelig å vite hvordan dette skal, problemet skal løses. Antagelig så må man i hvert fall lage helt nye lærebøker, for det er ganske åpenbart at de som utdanner seg innenfor denne sektoren nå lærer hvordan de skal opptre uetterrettelig, de lærer uetisk og opptrer uetisk. Eksempelvis så står det i en lærebok at det er viktig at barnevernspedagogen bevisst frustrerer foreldrene for å se hvilken frustrasjonsterskel de har. Og det er selvfølgelig ikke moralsk akseptabelt. Lærebøkene må helt vekk, og noen oppegående mennesker må sette seg ned og lage helt nye lærebøker. Skal nedlegge barnevernet? Ja, men det gjør ting at barnevernet must be full destroyed in Norway? No, I think we need a system who help children which have big difficulties in their families. And I even think there are some cases where it's necessary to take the children away from the parents. If the parents are drug addicted and beating up the children every day or the children are sexually misused, of course everybody will say we need a system to help those children even to bring them to other families. But we do not need that sort of so-called barnevern which we have in Norway today. A system who are helping the families instead of destroying the families. We do not need a system who are pushing the parents to suicide and destroying the children. So we need a big reform inside this system, but we need, of course, to help children which has problems. But uh, if you need to destroy it and a big reform, why is the government not listen for your your recommendation of the? Yeah, we can, if I know this, maybe I could uh, uh, convince the government to, uh, to understand this. But this is a sort of a secret system. No politician wants to look into it. Because they say this is uh, out of our hands, this belongs to the court, the, the parents can go to the court if they like, and uh, we cannot go into the specific cases. And uh, if some politicians try to do so, they uh, will have big difficulties, it's a big, uh, big work. But you can ask this question. Some politicians in Czech Republic are going into a specific case which concerning a Czech woman. Some politicians and parliament members in Romania are doing the same. And they do a lot of good work to go into those cases, even if it's very difficult. So why the Norwegian politicians do nothing, I can not understand it. It's a time for the Norwegian Minister of Children to do something. What's your recommendation about reform in Barnevall, Norwegian Barnevall? It is very complex, but main lines, the government and the politicians should do what we are doing, 
go into single cases, investigate them properly, report them openly, then it's not so difficult after all to see uh, what the truth is. Um, you have these um, levels of bureaucracy and government that tend to dissolve responsibility because somebody only has the job of doing one thing, another person just another thing and so on. But uh, um, with open information about the cases, put a stop to this silence, put a stop to all this nonsense about uh, not being able to say anything and so on. Uh, I cannot see then how that could fail to make a lot of people wake up. Yeah. If you say it's a simple case for destroy or um, reform this organization, Mm -hmm. Why uh, government don't listen to us? Why? Uh, because the government is responsible for Barnavarna. It's their creation. So when we criticize Barnavarna, <coughs> implicitly we're criticizing them. Uh, it is true that Barnavarna acts so autonomously that people tend to think of them as a kind of separate unit. Uh, yes, the politicians have given them this power to act without reference to their superiors, right? But the politicians can take back that uh, leeway. They can take back this power and say that they uh, have to face up to their responsibility. It's their creation. Thank you.